can LDN increase cortisol? I have high night cortisol, so I don't want to increase it anymore. If it does, what would you recommend taking it? So the mechanisms by which cortisol are elevated have a lot to do with stress situations, but also even interaction between how the chemicals are moving in the brain, whether or not there's enough melatonin, some of the other substrates like vitamin D, but also even going back to the sex steroid hormones, right? So oral progesterone can increase nighttime cortisol if it's, if it's too high. There's a, a wide variety of things going on here. Directly LDN, I don't see increases nighttime cortisol. Uh, if anything, I think it helps to reduce the inflammatory responses due to elevated cortisol, whether it's direct or indirect, um, you can make a case for either of those, but when, but the question specifically was, does it increase cortisol? And I don't see that. I actually see that it helps with the benefits of high cortisol to, um, help reduce the inflammation due to elevated cortisol. So if it does, what time would you recommend taking it? I still recommend taking it at bedtime just because when the body's at rest, you tend to have more restorative sleep. You tend to have more um, uh, opportunity for the endorphins to increase and just kind of go from there. 